Hey, welcome to Split Our Farm. Today we're going to be trying something we saw on the internet. Essentially, it's taking a piece of wood, cutting it in an uh, X pattern, basically 75% down, and then starting a, a mini fire in the center. And what I saw was that they, the fire completely was self-sustained in the center, slowly rearing out, and they were able to cook on top. So I'm interested and I want to give it a shot. So we'll, we'll, we'll find a piece of wood that, uh, we'll find a piece or two to try the same thing, uh, maybe uh, two different types of wood, and see where we go. Got a nice good piece over there. I feel like a good seasoned piece of wood. I, I feel like it'll definitely burn even better. I think this would be a, a butte right here. This is going to be the one. a lighter piece of paper just to make the easier and uh, probably a knife or an axe to get some kindling to shove in the center. All of the kindling like small twigs those small twigs right there we'll use too but it is super dry from some firewood that we had from two seasons ago so it should help easily help with fire. Today I'm going to be using the 572 XP Husqvarna. I love this thing. It's a beast. <laughs> so you want to, uh, when starting chainsaw, do a quick uh, 5 to 10. Pumps of the gas, make sure it has gas and oil. In the 572 XP version, you put it into the choke mode by pushing upward. Then you're going to do a few cranks. You'll hear it about to turn over. And then you kill the choke, and it'll fire right up. Make sure that the... Uh, Bar safety is forward. One, two, three. There we go. All right, so the uh, stub's cut in quarters, and it's about 75% down. Um, now we're essentially going to just like split it a little bit. I have a wedge. I'll probably shove a wedge in there so I can actually get the uh, kindling and stuff down. And we'll uh, go from there. This is, this is based on a video I saw. Uh, it didn't really have much to it. It was like a 15 second clip. So we're just trying to remake that to see if it actually works. Round two. Oh my what's, your, uh, what's your plan for this round? I'm gonna make the, the cut thicker so I don't have to try and spread it open because if I'm spreading over this dry seasoned wood, it's just gonna crack just like it did. Well, it's double the space, so we should be able to fit in uh, I mean also the, the sawdust is in there already we should be able to fit, fit in a little bit of kindling some dried grass and uh, light it up and then we'll see hopefully it turns into a nice rocket stove you know dried up grass and kindling and other things to try and make it down to the center here I'm gonna use some of this dried kindling the center also you stack down a sideways pattern can we bust this myth indeed let's see what happens I get fire in there and this is gonna obviously leave but that's okay well it's starting and we don't have 100% success yet because once we know that you cook on top of there then yeah a little salmon for dinner Paige and Mags are excited all right so what we're gonna do is hopefully the smoke goes out of her face but everyone knows if you're by a campfire the smoke will always be in your face so we're gonna get this cast iron skillet we're gonna toss it on here and we're gonna get our oil and allow that to start heating up. Fire's contained, so this is nice, you know? Like, it's, it seems to be working similar to what I saw online. Slightly different, but it's okay. The hardest part was getting it in dead center, because 
it's definitely more of a fire on this side and this side than it is over here or there. She'll cook. She'll cook. It's time. Let's try it out. All right. It's a little smoky. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's working! enjoyed uh, I had a great time doing it it took a little while so I'm ready to dig in but check back with Splora Farm for our next video